Morning, morning, Mich everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this, um, this, I think it's Tuesday, but I'm, yeah, it's, I know it's April the 30th, 2024. So I think it's Tuesday. Uh, I'll confirm it in a minute. But I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I thought I'd get on up. There's a lot going on on, on the internet, you know, because I signed up for a lot of things. You know, you really, like I told you, you really need to keep um, developing yourself and educating, self-educating yourself, regardless of how old you are. Uh, that is so crucial in the, in the evolution of your consciousness. Stand by. Man, it gets so it gets so warm up in here. So, the uh, the evolution of your consciousness involves self educating yourself. You can't get away from it. Let me see if I can make this a light, not too invasive here. Woo! Yeah, that's better. So, so that's why it's so important to do things you love, especially if you're a creative type. And that's who I usually, that's usually who I'm directing all of my attention to, is the creatives, the entrepreneurs, you know, I advocate for women, biological women, but I also send universal love to everybody all over the stars and moon and mountains. I don't exclude anyone from what I'm doing, but I know what resonates with people. And it's usually people that have the experience to know what they're talking about. They're not just you know, just throwing stuff out at you and be and believing that you are not clever, not <clears throat> not um, aware enough and not conscious en enough to know when people are attempting to, you know, um, take you for a ride. And treat you like you, you know, a lot of people do not understand uh, the power of our consciousness and therefore do not understand the power of our thoughts. And I'm so thankful because so many people are waking up or have been awoke for so long, but they never had the opportunity to express themselves and, and, and exercise their free speech, you know. Of, uh, of whatever whatever they can talk about you know there's a lot of people that know so much and they and they want to be able to uh, express themselves but a lot of us are under the um, under the the weight of uh, you know our leaderships you know that py pyramid leadership you know we a lot of us are under the weight of um, threats to our democracy you know, just threats to our our being, B-E-I-N-G. We are being targeted in, in such a way that, you know, you have to bring out your creativity in order to resonate to the proper people. We have almost 10 billion people on this planet, believe it or not. So we're not going to reach everybody. And that's not, and that should not, that is not a goal, I hope, for, for all of us to want to reach everybody. We want to resonate with people that are on our consciousness level. We're all on a different consciousness level. We're developing ourselves horizontally, but yet we are raising our vibration at the same time. Okay? Horizontally, but it's going is raising itself naturally ver vertically instead of a lot of people want to just do everything vertically. They want to go to the top of the branch of the tree without having a proper foundation, which is your, you know, your feet you know, and standing properly. And, um, you know, I put out a video sometime, you know, I don't know how long ago it was about how you, you, how you need to just stand in your being, just be allowed to stand there and be able to trust what you are picking up, you know, reconnecting yourself back to reality, which is most importantly, but also reconnect yourself back, back to this earth because there are so many things going on in the background that is devastation and destruction. You know, uh, the, climb, the, the, the crisis is over. We're, you know, the crisis was over when we first had an earthquake back in what? When was the first earthquake? 
When was the first hurricane? When was the first this or that or the other? That is when the crisis was over and we were in that destruction. And that's almost 100 years, maybe 200 years. But we have been uh, led to believe otherwise. We have been stringed along, you know, unfortunately. And so a lot of people will succumb to that stringing along. But I also told you that we do reborn. And, you know, that, that, that is not what this video is about. This video is about the creators. I want to reach out to you again. I think I have all of my videos basically are geared towards the creators, you know, the small businesses. Those of you that are that understand that it, it takes proper foundation. It's not saying that it takes forever. No, nothing takes forever. But you, it, once you understand the power of your thoughts, and what, how your thoughts will lead you, you'll start, you'll start making, I mean, leaps and bounds. Like I said, you'll go to sleep one night and wake up into a new reality. And nothing necessarily has changed uh, externally, but it's all internal. You realize, okay, you know, a lot of people like to, uh, because a lot of people, the way people think, a lot of people have different modes of thinking, which you ought to. But it needs to be grounded in reality. It needs to be logical, rational, and reasonable. You cannot be hallucinating. You know, well, you can because m many people do or be in delusion or illusion. Um, you, know, you, you need to know, okay, what do I want and what do I need? And how can I, how can I get that? And, so, and, and allow your consciousness to work for you. But I'm telling you, if you have a ling lingling, lingering effects of, stuff that happened to you yesterday or 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that still are still in the forefront of your mind right now, then that's going to interfere with uh, other impulses of ideas that are going to come to you. Meaning if you're still dealing with something that happened in your childhood and you haven't resolved it, if you're still angry with people or how they treated you, uh, all those kind of things. In other words, if you haven't healed the past to let it go, then it's just going to be a lot of interference on top of already the interference that we have, this encasement of negativity everywhere. That is, um, if we had the proper equipment, we'll be able to see the radiation of that, the radiation of, um, of negative energy as well as positive. But the negative part is so imbalanced. It's not balanced at all. It, 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 you know, and that's what happens sometimes when you get extreme, you know, you, you mean, you know, if you're so extreme on positive, you're going to, well, do I look balanced to you or extreme on negative? Okay. Do I look balanced to you? So the proper way is to be neutral about things. You know, we all have had some rough childhoods who hasn't, if anyone comes forward and say they had a great childhood, you know, just just pay attention to their behaviors and actions when they say these things. A lot of people know that that doesn't resonate with people. They, you know, and so it's a lot of manipulation with that. When they say that they had, uh, you know, a lot of people want to say that okay, you know, you know, they can be, they barely had food on the table, they barely this, and, you know, they were bullied, and you know, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people who were bullied were bullied usually. We're bullying, you know, we're doing the same thing, but maybe not on the same scale. You know, it's just, you know, who hasn't been beat up? Who hasn't, you know, but it's different now. That's why, that's why I have to keep, keep stressing that. We have, I have allowed things to fester and fester and fester and fester instead of, you know, being neutralized, neutralized, neutralized. So my point is this, creatives, please keep creating. P trust yourself. No one has to know that you've healed because a lot of people keep running around and insisting that you need to take your time, take your time. Okay, allow people to do that. That's what's going to have to happen with a lot of us that know better and that are really genuinely working on yourselves and you know you know the importance of being healed. You know that. But you don't want to be but you don't want to be stepping on people's toes. And that's that's perfectly fine. That's why you have to know what to say and what not to say. Know what to share and what, what not to share. You don't want to get on, especially in the social media sphere. That's a sphere. 
It's usually fabricated. Uh, you know, I see it as opportunity. I see the, the social media platform as an opportunity. That's all I see it as. Um, the damage, a lot of damage has been done with that. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of people are just going to have to, you know, be able to work them, work their way out of it by using their thoughts, thinking properly, you know, changing your mode of thinking. It's no longer business as usual. So be creative about it. That's exciting to me. That's extremely exciting. Uh, it's, you know, it's like taking that journey of uh, discovery, taking that journey of um, exploring, but knowing that there's hazards there, you know, there's dangers there. You know, weather-related dangers. See it as an adventure, but make sure you always are grounded. You don't take your fantasies too far or you take your, um, you know, yeah, your fantasies too far where, you know, where you can't be, where you can't be touched and, and brought back down to reality. Because, yes, we still got to feed ourselves. We still have to provide for ourselves, you know, and, um, you know. There's just a lot of interference. There's a lot of hills and mountains in between us, okay? Um, and so, but, you know, but, but man, if you, like I, like I said, you don't have to tell everybody that you've healed. You can just, you know, just be compassionate to people that are still healing because they need to get out of that healing. They need to be healed, but that's fine. As, uh, as uh, guides, you know, we're like guiding people gently, with compassion and understanding. And you, we don't necessarily have to be holding hands, holding people's hands. Just know how to uh, incorporate proper language with people, which encourages them to, you know, to get to a certain point in their life. Um, we, we, we need to be very creative about why we keep dealing with stuff in the past because, like I said, it's just blocking anything else coming in. So just be creative, especially you psychiatrists, you psychologists, you know, your scientists, engineers, you know, but more so the creative types. Just be creative, especially when, you know, and be, be uh, honest about your experience. If you don't have the experience to tackle certain events, don't tackle them. Stay within your range. You know, stay within your sphere. Make sure that's proper. I know, I, and like I said, I see certain faces of people that were around 10, 20, 30 years ago with these um, pyramid schemes or Ponzi schemes, and I notice they're back. Okay, pay attention to those, please. Pay, pay attention. Because now they're back and they're trying to venture into other, other you know, invade people, invade spaces, you know, instead of being invited and they have no uh, results at all. You know, these are new ventures for them because they know that that failed. They know they're failing. A lot of them are broke. Okay, pay attention. They're broke, and they relied on uh, materialism to put them where they are. And now they realize that materialism, materialism at some point does vanish, does disappear. Did you know that? Just like we do. Just like our bodies. Our bodies is this material structure that at some point in the future when I pass away you know my the essence of who I am is going to escape this body and whoop, go on to the next adventure you know that's that passing of baton uh, um, analogy um, and this body here this Michelle will at some point uh, decay and turn into another form of energy, you know, because there's all kinds of levels of energy. Nothing necessarily dies. It's just it turns into another form of energy. And that includes us. So so it's actually, we are actually getting a, a moment as we are, as as beings, that is pretty special if you look at it in an open-mindedness without, you know, with suspending your ego, suspending your beliefs, suspending your convictions, suspending, you know, suspending all that stuff. It's like taking this shirt off and, 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 and exposing who you really are in inside of you. So I love the creatives because, you know, I, I you know, I watch a lot of stuff on, on the social media platform. I watch a lot of stuff on the internet you know, and then I go out in the, into the, and see, when you go outside, 
That's why you need to go outside, no matter what the temperature is, and be realistic and grounded about what's going on around you. It is completely different, okay? And you all, a lot of people ought to have known that. No one is saying that you, you know, I mean, just know how to manage your time. Okay, and at the same time, be always stay, know what your toes are doing. You remember I used to say that. Know what your fingers are doing. You know, how are you touching yourself? You know, and and uh, and what are you hearing? You know, what do you smell? You know, go through those uh, series of events in your life so that it keeps you conscious. That's the that's the most important thing. A lot of things we are not going to know are happening because they happen unconsciously. And that's that makes sense if you think logically because otherwise it would be a so, sort of interference. So it's like a, um, a gentle touch of something happening within that you can't necessarily pay attention to and deal with, you know, the, the responsibilities and stuff you have in your life. So, like I said, and you're gonna look at, when you you lay down one night or one day, whatever your schedule is, and you wake up, something smells different, some the sounds are different, and it's like whoa, you know, whoa, you, it, something's going on in in the sphere of your mind, which is, um, you know, it has to do with your consciousness or your psyche, which you psyche was formerly called soul, but that's, you know, like I said, and our words change. You got to elevate these words and snap out of some of these words that are putting you in a trance. So I just want this to be an encouraging moment for people to understand, you know, despite what's going on around us, and a lot of things are, this, despite the fact that there is devastation everywhere, no matter what people are telling you. Some people know how to navigate through there and survive and make it, you know, and make it through those tough, tough times and come out, you know, you know, maybe bruised and injured, but they, they, but they've survived and they can get through it. So again, no one has to know what's going on inside of you. You don't have to share all of that. You know, just know what your purpose and intentions are and trust yourself, you know, and it is about being safe in certain environments. I know it is it's, it is healthy to socialize, uh, but but make sure you're socializing because you seek the you seek the benefits of that. You're not socializing to you know boast about how important you are, and you're coming in there, you know, you know stepping in there, invading people, wanting all the attention, all always on you, you know, okay. Uh, I'm going to say some more about that as well, about all of this going on, you know, that we really need to work on our language. We need to work on eliminating these labels we're giving each other. We're human beings. And anytime you, like I said, anytime you put labels, so many labels on yourself, all you're doing is covering yourself in a whole lot of garbage. And it, and, and, and then you're, it's like being in a box. And, and everything keeps getting piled and piled and piled and piled on you. How are you going to get out of that? How are you going to get out and see the sun, see the clouds, see the moon, see the mountains when you have all that stuff piled on you about this or that and the other? You know, we're human beings, yes, on an ex on a uh, adventure of discovery and a, a journey to a destination some of us are going to be together in that, the like-mindedness. But at the same time, the path is individually. You know, I still have to walk. You know, I still have to, you know, be able to, you know, make that movement. Uh, some of us may need help based on our physical uh, abilities or not, whatever. But, you know, there, there's, just, there's just so much to do, so much, so much joy so much enthusiasm. And I, I tap into that all the time because, you know, I, I'm a human being just like everybody else. I need to do what I need to do to feed myself, provide for myself, you know, and navigate through all the crowds, navigate through all the noise, the sounds that are unnatural, unnatural. 
and it causes so much damage to our physical. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people look great, but it, it's, you know, but a lot of great people have died, right? A lot of good looking people have died, right? Unexpectedly. You know, these beautiful people that we, oh, like I said, another label, these so-called healthy athletic people with muscles and all this and that and the other, they have died mysteriously. Has anyone been paying attention to that? Okay. So don't do, you know, do everything in your power to, to, and ask yourself, how can I help myself with my extremeness in this, extremeness in that? Just be gentle, you know, and ask for within. It's within you. You know, when you start, like I said, when you start going outside of yourself and, and, and um, you know, asking, asking questions of something outside of you, that's kind of illogical when you already have it within you. Just tap into it. Okay, the God is within you. The the the, the Buddha is in you. The uh, whatever everybody's talking about outside of themselves, you know, is in you. Tap into it. No one has to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that right now. I just want to be encouraging, uh, enthusiastic because it is. It, there is an encouraging sense of being when you can just stand there. Look around, you know, and, and realize, okay, okay, I'm ready, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>